the first eight, we get to this point now of remembering our first date or understanding how to approach the first date. But I, I want you to be very careful, get this, on who you are dating yes. and who you are committing your emotions, your thoughts, your time, your service, your energy, and your allegiance. Be careful on who you are dating. Uh, I introduced him to you last week, but I want you to understand a little bit of his character and his ways. I need to let you know, first of all, that he is a gentleman. He's a gentleman. Why? Because when you look in Romans, um, Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, the Bible says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. That means he doesn't just barge his way in. Yeah. That means he just doesn't come in rude and disrespectful. He knows how to treat somebody. He knows how to respect another person. The Bible says that he said, I stand at the door and knock. And if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and not try to rearrange their sofa or try to turn their TV. But I will sit down with them and I will eat with them. Also, you need to realize what you need to wear when you go out on a date with Jesus. Well, it tells you what you need to wear in Romans chapter 12. <laughs> Verse 1, the Bible says that this is how you dress when you go out with a Jesus. Uh, Paul says, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies. As a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. That means when Jesus comes over, you better put on your best and make sure that you are representing. You need to know it's important, get this, to maintain eye contact mm -hmm. with him. Yeah. Keep your eyes on the one who you are with. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2 says, looking to Jesus, the founder and the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Let me tell you something. There's nothing more rude than being out with somebody and focusing on somebody else. All right. All right. I'm going to preach this. There's something that is this rude when somebody is fronting the bill and somebody has picked you up and somebody has taken out time to focus on you, but you can't focus on them. Well, let me backtrack. I believe that the Lord stopped by each and every one of our house this morning and woke you up this morning and put food on your table 